Hi, this is uh, Cliff Parker from hugeincome.biz. I'm just going to take you through how to put custom ringtones um, legitimately on, on your iPhone um, without invalidating the warranty. Now your ringtones can be found in your settings on your iPhone and sorry the picture's a bit um, blurred but in the sounds section down there in the sounds go into sounds and you go to the ringtones and all, all you'll find you've got is um, your standard ringtones your marimba your alarm your bark bell tower ascending etc etc at the top of mine um, I've got a few custom ones um, see if I can pan in see if you can see that there's some um, custom ringtones at the top there um, I'm just going to show you how to do that. Um, this can be done on um, iTunes. You need iTunes 7.5 um, to start with. You have to have iTunes 7.5. You've got to have that installed. And first you need to check down on the um, left hand side bar here. Um, there should be an option that says ringtones. If you haven't got the ringtones option on the left hand side in the library section of your iTunes, you need to go into um, edit preferences and then it will come up with a, a box and in the general tab there will be all these um, subjects um, show and tick boxes uh, for the movies, TV shows, uh, podcasts, audio books, iPod games and then on the right hand side you've got radio party shuffle and ringtones if you tick them all especially the ringtones um, it will actually bring up that icon in your library and then you're ready to go. You click OK on that and then back and you'll see it, you'll see it pop up. Now you need a pen and paper, you've got to choose a song within your iTunes and listen to it and in the, in the top bar in iTunes, um, depending on what um, period of time you want that ringtone from, you need to decide uh, when to start the ringtone and when to finish. So if it, you know, looking at the time in there, if you want to start it at 24 seconds and finish it at 32, then write that down and keep it handy. All right. So if you stop the song, now what we do is on the on the tune in your in your music library, um, right click the button and choose the Get Info option, and that will bring up a, a little screen here you get info within the songs get info there is an options tab and within the options tab there's a start and a stop time this is where you put your seconds in from when you want your ringtone to start and when you want it to stop it's best for a 10 15 20 second ringtone um, whole songs don't tend to play very well you can do it but obviously it's taking up more time but they will run in a loop um, so you start time, so you fill your start time in what you wrote down from previously. Uh, remembering to put the colon in, in between the minute and the second. So on this one I've got the start time ticked starting at 12 seconds and stop time ticked and finishing at 34 seconds. Alright, you just need to hit OK on that. And although the, sh the song will still show the same length of time as it did before you did that, if you right click it again and go down to convert selection to AAC and click that, what it will do is iTunes will update it and automatically starting to play um, that um, ringtone. This one is 22 seconds. The, the next thing to do which is the sexy part, like the iPhone, is to left click um, the portion of song that you've made into a ringtone or convert it to AAC and drop it onto your desktop of your PC. Just drop it onto the desktop of the PC like that and you see it in there. What happens, um, I don't know whether you can see this, it, it gives it a .m4a um, tag. So what you can do is or what you need to do is you can change the song title if you just click in it until it goes blue change the song title but you need to change the last three um, letters after the dot so in this instance um, the picture is an, an mpeg4 and it's a and it's called poison arrow dot m4a you need to change the a to an r 
So if you delete the A, the .m4a, change it to an R, and then click on your desktop again, you'll come up with a little box saying if you change a file name extension, the file may become un unusable. Are you sure you want to change it? So you click yes, and that just says that it already exists. And what it will do is it will change it from an MPEG-4 icon to a ring icon. It will say ring um, within the within the icon there. And then all you do is you just drag it. Um, well, you don't drag it back into iTunes. If you go into your ringtone section, there's all my custom ringtones on my iPhone, and you just get the icon and you just drag it into um, the ringtones folder. And that's it, it will start playing. I've already got it in there, so that's why it's on there. And it will start playing, and that will put it into your folder. All my ringtones are in a separate folder. Wherever my music is um, stored on, whether it's a C drive or D drive, I've got a separate folder for ringtones, and they all go in there. And then all you can do now is just um, sync up with your iPhone, and it will pop up in into your ringtones part of the of the iPhone. So enjoy that. Um, have fun with your with your iPhone, and um, we'll we'll catch up real soon. This is um, Cliff at HugeIncome.biz. Have fun with this superb um, little toy phone, and we'll catch up soon. Thanks a lot.